Hello and welcome to this tutorial. It is the second tutorial in the Vicom Media um, series on how to make a full-fledged web form. So I'll start up by opening up Adobe Dreamweaver. Just let this open up. Now we'll open up what we made last tutorial, the form, nice and simple. So I'll be showing how to validate it properly. I'll just delete this, do not worry about that. Okay, so there are two types of validation. There are server side and client side. Client side is scripting that is processed on the user's computer. It is much simpler to do and it's it's all that we need for this, but server side is much more powerful. So I won't be going into server side, but if you are doing more advanced forms you may want to look into it in the future. But uh, we're, we're going to be doing client side, so it won't be too hard. It should be easy to understand. I'll try to make it as simple as possible. So we'll select the submit button here. Then we will go to behaviors. Over here in the tag inspector, click that. It will by default be on attributes and we'll click behaviors then click this little plus sign and from the menu that pops up we'll choose validate form make sure that you've selected the submit button now for this form uh, for the for this tutorial we'll require the name field the email field and the text area field which is called question. Now for email field we don't just want it to be anything we want it to be specifically an email address so we'll click that. You can also tell it to validate numbers which is useful for phone numbers and also number ranges which can be useful for certain circumstances. We don't need that for this tutorial. So now we're done validating. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's type in some info. Oh, uh, actually, let's just see what happens when we don't. Okay. It tells us that name is required, email is required, and also question is required. Which is the name of these fields? The ID that we put in earlier. Let's say we put in some info. For email, I will put an invalid email address. I'll put my name. For question, I'll put in a simple question. Okay, let's click submit. See, it tells you that email must contain an email address. The user can then go and just say to themselves, oh, I forgot to put in the rest of the email address. There we go. Now, if they click submit, it works. Although, we have not yet created the script, the, the PHP script that will process all the info that the user inputs. So we'll do that in the next video. For now, I'll just quickly explain some little 
hint that uh, I've figured out. It will most likely uh, save you some trouble and worrying. Uh, if you do change the ID of a field, that has a behavior uh, that has a validate form behavior on it. Say we change the name field to John. We go to here, uh, and well, we have to go to edit and change the name of the field and recheck what we want to validate. As if you do not the validation will no longer work for this um, field. may uh, save you some time. Now that I changed it back, I have to go edit again. There we go. So, that's a little hint. Uh, that's all for this tutorial. And uh, hopefully you liked it and it helped you. Um, Validation is something you have to do. It's not optional. It saves you uh, possible uh, virus attacks. Uh, it it's really good, but also it, it stops you from reading junk entries and just saves some time. It's really easy to do. So. Thank you, and hopefully you subscribe, I just watch the next video.